Welcome to Warmth of Wine, year number 16. This is going to be a wonderful virtual evening of wine, delicious food, all by raising money to help low-income seniors in our community with their heating bills. And here with me this evening is our dear friend, Diane conroy Lasavita, who is the executive director. Diane! Hey, Joe, and thank you so much. I, I really want to start this evening off by thanking Joe Condon and B95.5 in uh, the broadcasting, Jim Morrell, for allowing us to have Joe with us this evening. If you've attended this event in the past, you know that Joe was such a big part of the evening. So I said, can we do this virtually? And he said, sure. So Joe, I want to thank you. Well, Diane uh, Conway Las it is an honor always to be with you. Thank you very, very much. We have a silent auction with over 20 packages, and I'm sure there is something for everybody to make sure that they uh, will know how to place their bids. But right now, we're going to go to uh, Christina Meyer, the board president, and see what uh, is going on with Christina, right? Good evening, and welcome to our virtual Warmth of Winter event. Although we can't be together in person, we've all come together for this amazing event. As you know, tonight is dedicated to raising money to help our seniors keep the heat on. I'm Christina Meyer, President of the Board for Colony Seniors, and I want to thank each and every one of you for being here tonight. As you can imagine, this winter has been particularly difficult for so many members of our community. Despite this, we've had a record number of sponsors, which is a testament to the fact that our community is a giving community and cares for our seniors. I want to thank our event chair, Andrea Crisofulli, for her time and talents in organizing the event. I hope you enjoy the program and I hope to see you next year. I also want to thank every volunteer who has helped make this event a success. Take it away, Diane. Thank you, Christina. She's such a nice lady, isn't oh, she? She's lovely. She's wonderful to have as our board president. And again, we want to mention that we have a silent auction with over 20 packages and we're sure there is something for everyone. So make sure to place your bids and it's sponsored by Capcom Federal Credit Union. And you can go to www.32auctions.com wow, slash wow 2021. That's www.32auctions.com slash wow 2021. I have to share a little secret with you. We actually opened the auction yesterday. And so last night at five o'clock and I jumped right on and I made some bids. And then I looked today, I was overbid already. So this auction is actually going to be open until Sunday evening. So take your time, can visit that www.32auctions.com uh, uh, backslash wow 2021. You can do it tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. But keep in mind, we are closing it Sunday evening. They are wonderful, fabulous prizes. And so our next person I'd like to introduce is actually the event chair for this evening, Andrea Crisofoli from Crisofoli Brothers. Andrea was our chair last year. She agreed to be our chair this year. I gotta tell you, we would not be able to do this event without her leadership. I am so thrilled that she's part of it. And so I'm gonna ask Andrea, take it away. Thank you all for joining us this evening to support such a tremendous organization for such an important cause. As with any successful event, it would not be possible without the incredible generosity of our sponsors and the overwhelming support of the honorary committee. Thank you all for your generosity and for being here with us this evening. I would also like to thank our committee members who have worked so hard to make this virtual event a success. A success. Jill August, Blanchard Kenny, George Mahoney, Christina Meyer, Allison Michael, and Nancy O'Connor. Thank you all. I'm sure you'll find something this evening on our online auction that you love or need, but there is one item that many seniors in our community need, and that is Fund a Senior. For every $200 raised this evening through the Fund a Senior campaign, we are able to help senior households pay their utility bills and stay warm, safe, and healthy. And that's so important this year, especially as so many seniors have been isolated due to the pandemic. The Meyer Law Firm has challenged us all to help seniors by matching every fund to senior donation up to $1,500. Thank you, Christina. So please remember, if you don't win that auction item you love or need, this is a great way to help seniors in our community, which is what tonight is all about. Good luck, remember to bid often, and thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you, Andrea. What a wonderful intro. And again, thank you so much for taking on the leadership of being the event chair. You know, this evening is a virtual evening, and I want to give a big shout out to Capcom Federal Credit Union for making this virtual event be possible. 
And also, Diane, we'd like to thank uh, Mr. Uh, John Brady of Twin Bridges Waste and Recycling, who has some good words for us. Hello, my name is John Brady with Twin Bridges Waste and Recycling, and we are honored to be part of such a great initiative. Uh, warmth of Winter is something that got us really excited. You know, when the community comes forward and understands that there's a need, such as the elderly maybe not being able to financially pay their heating bills or needing some help with their heating equipment at their homes, I mean, that's something that we're all about community. We're a local family-owned business, and we want to give back. So when we had the opportunity to be part of this, we just got really excited. So on behalf of the Twin Bridges team, thank you to Warmth of Winter for letting us be a part of such a great initiative. Thank you, John. John is our presenting sponsor with the Twin Bridges Waste and Recycling, also a sponsor of our online auction, Chris Foley Brothers, and our vintner sponsor, Key Back, the dessert appetizer sponsor, Lennox Industries, Beverage Tasting Sponsor, Equinox Companies, Fun Day Senior Sponsor, Meyer Law Firm, Production Sponsor, Capcom FCU. And so we have a list of sponsors I want to mention right now. And so when you picked up your meal this evening, you probably were presented with this wonderful, wonderful tote that you can use. The wine was in there. The glasses were in there. So our tote sponsors for this evening are Capital Bank, Gallagher, Haler, Freyer & Kuhn, Janitronics, Teal, Becker, and Shimani. And Diane, our brewer sponsors are BBL Construction, Boucher and Clark Benefits Incorporated, Goldstein Auto Group, O'Connor Hazelton Group, Merrill Lynch Wealth Management, and Pioneer Back. And how about tasting? Oh, well, we have many tasting sponsors, and thank them up front. Those are Capital Safety Services, CBRE Albany, FW Webb, Godfrey Financial Associates, Herzog Law Firm, Metroland Business Machines, Mohawk Honda, NNS Supply, RF Peck, and WCGS Architects. And we have in-kind sponsors, Bazone Hospitality, Capital District Digital, the nice folks who are hosting us this evening, and All-Star Wine and Spirits. And I'm getting hungry. Oh, I'm getting thirsty first. Okay. So if you started looking inside your bag, you would have noticed two bottles of wine, one white and one red. And I guess I'm pouring the white wine from <laughs> mine first, right? <laughs> This wine is actually from Italy. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is Pino Giorgio, and it's a refreshing wife from a historic family estate in Italy's top area for this grape, a region whose wines have been held in high esteem since Roman times. It's light with uh, pronounced ripe pear character, green apple, and lemony zip. We're going to zip over to you. <laughs> Do you like that right up? Thank you. And so both of our wines this evening are actually the vintage of 2019 and were hand selected by Craig Allen of All Star Wine and Liquor. So thank you, Craig, for doing that for us. Our red is actually a beautiful red blend. And uh, if you, it's actually from the country of France and it's from southern France and it's got a beautiful bounty. And if you if you have an opportunity to sample it, it's going to have hints of black fig. It's going to have a little, little thyme to it, a little bit of fennel flavoring to it. And it's got a nice, very nice mineral finish. So before we go on, Joe, cheers. A taste of a wonderful evening. Yes, thank you. Thank you. I hope all of you are enjoying your wine. All right. So as we move on, now you said you were hungry. I yes. think what we should do is introduce our wonderful chefs for this evening. Blanchard Kenny and Brayden Fettison from Mazone Hospitality designed and prepared all of these wonderful, wonderful meeting, meals. So they decided that they were going to demo their second uh, course, and that is that beautiful, beautiful roasted beet salad. So Blanchard and Brayden, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Blanchard Kenny with Mazone Hospitality here at Beltrone Living Center and I'm here to tell you about a wonderful event that's happening on February the 25th called the Warmth of Winter. This is an event that we've been involved with for the past six years and this year because of the pandemic it's being done as a pickup wine dinner that you can enjoy at home. We're very very proud that we're going to be providing the four course meal for this event and today myself and our executive chef, Braden Benison, are gonna be showing you how to make our second course, which is a winter beet salad. Now, why use winter beets for a salad? Well, in the winter, we play hockey. In the summer, we play baseball. It's the same thing with food ingredients. We're gonna use winter ingredients in the winter and summer ingredients like tomatoes in the summer. 
So here we go. I'm going to start by showing you the vinaigrette dressing that we're going to be using to make the salad. Okay, this is a sweet onion vinaigrette. So we're going to start by grating some onion because we want to get it to a liquid state. Now you can also do this by hand by chopping, but it's much, much easier and much more efficient to use the box grater. So I'm going to start there. Take these, put it right in our blender. Almost looks like applesauce the consistency at this point. Okay, so we're going to combine the onions with some red wine vinegar, some sugar. This dressing has kind of a sweet and sour flavor profile. And to help the emulsion along, and also for flavor, we're going to use some dry mustard, which will help the molecules of vinegar and oil work together. Start by putting these ingredients together. Okay. Now the next step in making the vinaigrette, now that we've got this liquefied, is to slowly add the olive oil to form the emulsion. achieved the consistency that we're looking for. The last step and the last ingredient, put this in here, get that beautiful, beautiful dressing, Braden. Oh, beautiful color and texture. And we're going to add some poppy seeds to it. Oh, that's the magic touch. Stir it all together. And we have a beautiful sweet onion vinaigrette. for our salad. I'm going to turn this over now to Chef Braden, who's going to show you, who's going to assemble our winter beet salad. Uh, and I'll All leave right. it to you, Braden. So here we have some wonderful butter lettuce and some golden and red beets. The difference is just the color, the texture and taste is just the same, only it brings out a little more festive winter color to your salad. So, I already have some butter lettuce that's chopped up and washed. So you're gonna start with that as your base. Put a little bit down. And then we also have our sliced beets that I fire roasted on the grill with just a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning. Just to give them a little, little Jewish flavor on there. And you're gonna put those right on top. And you're gonna garnish it all with a little bit of uh, feta cheese over top and that gives it like a nice pungent uh, almost blue cheese but not not quite as pungent flavor and then we also have some hard-boiled eggs a little protein on your salad and that's it got a wonderful color for that and then we have the wonderful sweet onion dressing that Blanche made and we're just gonna just a little bit of that over the whole thing. And that's that. Wonderful winter salad. That's beautiful, right? Very, very nice. So again, our, our full menu for that day, we're starting off with a no-bake crab cheesecake, which you'll find very interesting, followed by the beet salad, a chicken normand, which is chicken that's braised in an apple cider sauce with apples, and then we're going to finish up the meal uh, with a fresh raspberry tart. So I hope you'll all consider being part of this event. Uh, there are some beautiful wines that are going to be going along with it. And we hope to see you out here next Thursday.
to Blanchard and Braden. Isn't that a wonderful demonstration of our second course? Now, if you've opened your program for this evening, you'll see that all four of the recipes for each of our courses are listed. So you could, if you like something, you can actually try it on your own. I wanna give a shout out to Mazone Catering or Hospitality. Yay, that's right. They are so wonderful for us. We've had them at the Beltrone Living Center for about the last six years. You may not be aware, but we actually have a commercial kitchen there. And through the pandemic, I have to tell you, as an organization, we have pivoted. We have done all sorts of things, drive through meals. We have done grab and goes. We actually delivered over 47 hot meals to isolated seniors in the community since March of last year. None of that would have been available or possible had it not been from his own. So I so appreciate all their efforts. They have been truly a partner for this organization. Thank you. So we're going to talk about the wonderful food that was in your tote bag this evening. So we're going to start, if you don't mind, with this beautiful crab cheesecake. And just the, the presentation of this is absolutely gorgeous. And so um, nice opportunity for you to have just a little bit of that seafood, and it would pair very well with the white wine that Craig Allen from All Star Wine and Liquor had picked out for us. Again, the beet salad. Oops, the beet salad with the, the hard-boiled eggs, the butter lettuce, and the feta cheese. Those beets, if you haven't tried them yet, are absolutely scrumptious. And really what tops this particular recipe off is that beautiful dressing that Blanchard had put together. Now for our entree, Joe's going to be Vanna White for us here. And, and so it's a, a breast of chicken, and then it's got a cream cider apple topping. And it's accompanied by roasted potatoes and asparagus. And that looks absolutely yummy. And then finally, for our dessert, is a raspberry tart. Small enough, but enough to satisfy a little piece of mint in there to help the palate. So before we go on, I think we should try. Okay. All right. Forks ready? Yes. All right. I'm going to steal this and give it a try. Again, it looks just absolutely scrumptious. I hope all of you at home are trying this as we're trying this, or maybe you've already gotten into your dinner. I know. I have to take my mask off. In a restaurant, I love them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is absolutely wonderful. Blanchard, Graydon, and the whole... Mazone Hospitality Team at the Beltrone Living Center. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this beautiful, scrumptious meal. And we want to remind folks the purpose of warmth of winter is to make sure that folks living in the capital region have enough heat to get them through till uh, like April when things start to get warm <laughs> in the capital region. Yeah. So often, you know, seniors in our community have to decide whether they're going to um, increase the temperature in their home or they're going to pay for medication or they're going to be able to purchase groceries. And we, we it's not right. It's not fair. And we realize that. So this particular event for the last 16 years has helped seniors keep the heat on. And we want to thank our sponsors who make this happen year after year. Our presenting sponsor, Twin Bridges Waste and Recycling. For the online auction, Chris Foley Brothers. Fitner sponsor, Keyback. Dessert appetizer sponsor, Lennox Industries. Beverage tasting sponsor, Equinox Companies. Fun to Senior Sponsor, Meyer Law Firm, and Production Sponsor, Capcom FCU. Yes, and again, our wonderful tote sponsors, Capital Bank, Gallagher, Haller, Freyer, Kuhn, Janitronics, Teal, Becker, and Chimani. And Brewer Sponsor, BBL Construction, Boucher and Clark, Benefits Incorporated, Goldstein Auto Group, O'Connell Hazelton Group, Merrill Lynch Waste, Wealth Management, and Pioneer Bank. Our tasting sponsors, once again, are Capital Safety Services, CBRE Albany, FW Webb, Godfrey, excuse me, Godfrey Financial Associates, Herzog Law Firm, Metroland Business Machines, Mohawk Honda, NNS Supply, RF Peck, and WCG Architects. And the in-kind sponsors, Mazone Hospitality, Capital District Digital, the wonderful folks who are making this evening happen, and also All-Star Wine and Spirits. And I think right now we're going to hear from uh, Sharon Harold, who is the Colony Senior Services uh, Scholarship Coordinator. She has some words for us, right? She does. Sharon is really the person behind this event. She's the person who's sending out the applications for people to want to uh, apply for these scholarships. And she's really, she's done a tremendous job. So Sharon, take it away. Good evening. My name is Sharon Harold. I oversee the Umbrella of Colony program. This year we mailed out over 200 applications to seniors in our area. We have received a large response back from them. Every year the number of applicants increases. This program helps 
seniors who are on a fixed income defray their heating costs. Your support is truly appreciated. For every $200 raised tonight, we're able to support one senior's household. Thank you and enjoy your evening. And Diane Conroy, La Savita. Now the exciting part. Well, every, all evening has been exciting, but this is the real exciting part. It's auction time. It is, and it has been auction time. And don't forget, the auction does not close until Sunday evening at 6 p.m. And you can go to Federal Credit Union, www.32auctions.com slash wow 2021. All right. So once again, www.32auctions.com backslash wow 2021. I have actually brought some of the auction items here today because I've been bidding on these. So I thought I'd keep them close just in case I do win. So let's discuss that. I know there's over 20 packages, but we should discuss a few of these. Okay, well, you've got something for the birds. I do. Isn't this incredible? So here, hold this, because this is also one of our items. So look at this really cute. It's sturdy, too. So if you're a bird lover, this is such a neat, very clever idea. So somebody has gone, and it's Ryan's Wood Productions or Products, and they've actually glued all of these wine courts. Is that not appropriate for this event to have this birdhouse? And it's large enough. Somebody said, what kind of bird goes in there? I think anything probably besides a crow or a raven. It's a pretty big hole. Isn't that cute? Can't you imagine having that in your backyard? I think that's so cute. So this is one of our available auction items. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of the New York State Lottery. Go ahead. Okay. Well, we have beautiful lottery tickets. Compliments of the good folks at Meyer Law Firm. And if you look at this design, so we got to hold this up probably a little bit. Do you see what this is designed? I Carrying that here, I'm so worried they're all going to fall and, and we would ruin this beautiful design. It's a design of a wine glass. Isn't that clever? And I know for a fact that Christina Meyer spent quite a bit of time designing that. Good job, Christina. Really cool. And this, I think, would, wouldn't that be I fun? I think you and I are holding won? a lot of money right now. I do. You know? <laughs> Wouldn't that be wonderful if somebody won like a million dollars off one of these scratch offs? That would be uh, exciting. Yes. So and they would become our best friends. They would. They're already <laughs> our best friends. So again, this is one of our auction items. So let's go. We have two others that we brought here this evening. How about that bottle of whiskey? You're a whiskey drinker, Joe. Is it everybody, Diane? <laughs> Tell us about that and who uh, who donated it. I, actually, this is another gift from Craig Allen at All Star Wine and Liquors. This beautiful bottle of whiskey with a little horse, one of my colleagues let me know, there's a horse on top, which is very wonderful, is actually valued about $250. I can only imagine the quality of whiskey in that beautiful bottle. And folks are bidding on it be right yours. now. Yes, and it could be yours. And then finally is this basket, and, uh, and I'm sorry it doesn't have the beautiful wrapping. We took it because we were concerned about the lighting. But all of these products, we have so many wonderful friends of Colony Senior Service Centers. And one of our wonderful friends is Chef A.J. Japel. And these are all the products that he has been making over the years, and they're for sale at Price Chopper and so forth. But it is a nice array of all his, and his newest product, which is Bloody Mary Mix. And even if you don't like alcohol in your Bloody Mary, it's a beautiful, beautiful beverage. And then Swifties gave us a $25 gift certificate, and then AJ's daughter just came out with a book of poetry. So AJ gave us this wonderful complimentary of really a representation of his life. Again, this is available for the auction. www.32auctions.com backslash wow2021. Bid often. And again, that's www.32auctions.com slash wow2021. Where are we going now? Where? I think we should thank our sponsors again. We're going to thank them one more time. Yep. Uh, presenting sponsor, Twin uh, Bridges Waste and Recycling, Online Auction, Christopher Lee Brothers, the vendor sponsor, Key Bank. <laughs> And our dessert appetizer sponsor, Lennox Industries. Beverage tasting sponsor, Equinox Companies. Fund to Senior sponsor, Meyer Law Firm. Production sponsor, Capcom FCU. All right. And our wine tote sponsor. I hope I see people using their wine tote, maybe at Price Shop or Hannaford or ShopRite or Trader Joe's, wherever you go. It's a beautiful, beautiful tote. And I want to thank those sponsors, Capital Bank, Gallagher, Taylor Freyer Coon, Janetronics, Teal Becker, and Shimani. And we also want to thank our brewery sponsors, BBL Construction, Boucher and Clark Benefits Incorporated, Goldstein Auto Group, O'Connor Hazelton Group, Merrill Lynch Wealth Management, Pioneer Bank. All right. And our tasting sponsors, Capital Safety Services, CBRE Albany, our, uh, excuse me, FW Webb, Godfrey Financial Associates, 
Erzag Law Firm, Metro Land Business Machines, Mohawk Honda, NNS Supply, RF Peck, and WCG Architects. And our in-kind sponsors, Bazone Hospitality, All-Star Wine and Spirits, and the good folks with us this evening, the great crew at Capital District Digital. Yes. I, you know, this event, look at all of our sponsors. I, and I want to just do a personal shout out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This organization would not be able to do what it does without our corporate partners. And so we don't take that lightly. We so appreciate all of the support we've gotten for Wild Share. And again, the purpose of this evening is to make sure that folks living in the Capital Region are able to get through the winter with enough heat to keep them warm. And so our final video for this evening is from Lori Miedema. And Lori is CSSC's Development Director. And she was kind of the person behind all this event. She had a committee and they worked super hard. And in fact, Andrea had thanked our, all of our committee members, and I want to thank them as well. Thank you for all your hard work, your due diligence, because this is really a wonderful event. We think we're going to do very well this year to help people keep their heat on. So, Lori, take it away. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us on our virtual warmth of winter. I know it's very different this year, but one of the things we're trying to keep as normal as possible is offer you our auction. We have an amazing array of items this year that you can bid on online. Check out your program to find the website for 32auctions.com. We have, for those of you who want to celebrate St. Patty's Day early, a lovely Irish basket with some Bailey's Irish cream and Jameson's Irish whiskey, along with a membership to the Irish American Heritage Museum in Albany that includes reciprocity to over a thousand museums across the North America. We have Miss Sydney's um, and eight Swifties from AJ, Chef AJ. We have an array of wine, golf, sporting packages, and our traditional bird house um, that's available for you tonight. As well as anyone who's looking for something to do, as we're all stuck inside, an array, a family game night so that you can play uh, games, whether it's at your home or a camp this summer. There's something for everyone, so make sure to check it out. All the proceeds from tonight's auction will be used to help fund heating seniors' homes. So again, please support it and bid high and bid often. Thank you so much and have a great evening. All right, so before we close out this evening, I wanna mention, so if you had gone into your tote bag and you had taken out the, the program for this evening, right? And you looked at those beautiful recipes that I, recommend everybody try at home because the food is so yummy. Um, there were also a couple other inserts and I want to mention those. So the first is we actually put in what we're doing with the center and the center is a new program. It's been there about a year and a half. It really is almost an elder hostel approach. We want to make sure that the seniors in our structures and in our community at large are lifelong learners. So there, although we have to be very careful about face-to-face -face contact and social distancing and so forth, we have a vast array of virtual programs, everything from Irish concerts to crocheting to virtual tours at the Albany Institute of History and Art. Please do take a look at this. There's a lot of activities that are free of charge and we really wanna support seniors. We realize being kind of stationary and not having much social interaction is difficult for people. This allows people to stay connected to the community. So check out the center. And then also we have Don't Miss and it lists out three upcoming activities that we'll be doing. One is a drive through event, courtesy of Mazone Hospitality. We're gonna have this wonderful taste of Ireland on St. Patrick's Day. And so uh, it's gonna have uh, stew with it and corned beef and boiled potatoes. We're gonna have a root salad and we're actually gonna have Guinness chocolate cake. Meals are $13. All you have to do is give us a call, make a reservation. You can drive through and pick it up. Or you can, uh, if you can't get to us and you're within a certain mileage, we'll drive it to you. But do check that out because the food is absolutely scrumptious. Another event that's coming up is Let's Have a Conversation. Colony Senior Service Centers was awarded a wonderful grant from Humanities New York. And we're going to be doing a year-long visitation, virtual tours, and, and uh, interviews with women of distinction. And then finally, Mother's Day. We have two different initiatives coming up. We've been doing these local bounty baskets that have really just taken off. And they're filled with local produce and product. We have everything from honey to jams to potato chips to chutneys. It's just a fruit, cheese is everything. And so we'll be doing that for Mother's Day. So we'll be switching the products around. So if you don't know what to get your wife or your mom or your grandmother, 
think about ordering one of our local bounty baskets. And then finally, for Mother's Day as well, we're gonna be doing a plant sale. So you can tell from all these activities that we've put into your bag tonight, Colony Senior Service there, Center is there. We're here supporting, we're advocating for our seniors. We want to make sure that you're heard and that we know you need us. And coming to Las Vegas, it sounds like you'll have a very exciting spring planned at uh, Colony Senior Services. Before we leave you this evening, I want to remind you one more time that the purpose of this evening's event is to make sure that folks living in the capital region have enough heat to stay warm and get through uh, the uh, winter season. And one more time, we'd like to thank our presenting sponsor, Twin Bridges Waste and Recycling, online auction sponsor, Crystal Foley Brothers, Fetner sponsor, Keyback, Dessert Appetizer sponsor, Lenick Industry, Beverage Tasting sponsor, Equinox Companies, Fund the Senior sponsor, Meyer Law Firm Production sponsor, Capcom FCU. All right, and our tote sponsors once again, Capital Bank, Gallagher, Haler, Frayer & Kuhn, Janitronics, Peel, Becker & Chimani. And the Brewer sponsors, BBL Construction, Boucher & Clark Benefits Incorporated, Gold Seed Auto Group, O'Connor, Hazleton Group, Merrill Lynch, Wealth Management, Pioneer Bank. All right, and our tasting sponsors, Capital Safety Services, CBRE Albany, FW Webb, Godfrey Financial Associates, Herzog Law Firm, Metro Land Business Machines, Mohawk Honda, NNS Imply, RF Peck, and WCG Architects. And our in-kind sponsors, Mazon Hospitality, All-Star Wine and Liquors, and let us give a big round of applause to the folks at Capital District Digital, the nice Yay. folks here this evening that made uh, tonight happen. So you think it's just Joe and I standing here, but there's a whole crew behind us and they have just been nothing but absolutely wonderful. Uh, we have Andrea here who we, we were joking, she's Vanna because she keeps switching things out, bringing in the wine, bringing in the food, bringing in the doc, uh, auction items. Mike Giuseppe, our communications guru. Yay, Michael. And Kayla and Anthony from Capital District Digital. If you are thinking about doing podcasts or looking at websites, or they, they are the people to call because they have just been nothing but wonderful for Colony Senior Service Centers. And if you're in Latham, they're located right in Latham. You go visit them in person. <laughs> And, and this behind us is a huge green screen. So I'm not sure what our background is, but if we look at it, it is a beautiful Kelly green, but I'm sure we have a beautiful background. We have a plant behind us. We have a plant. I think I saw a fireplace. Yes, there is. There's a fire. Is it lit? It is. Oh my goodness. Ouch. I knew I was getting hot. You're getting there burned. you go. I am getting burned. Yes. I want to give one more reminder about the auction. www32 auctions. Or, yes. Dot com. I know I'm not. Backslash www.32 wow. slash wow 2021. Yes. I've only said it six times and now I forget at the end. So on behalf of Colony Senior Service Centers, all of our staff, our board of directors, I want to thank Joe Condon for being with us this evening. Joe's been a friend of mine for about 25 years and he's he still takes my phone calls and he always says yes. And even this evening with, you know, this is a little different making this event virtual. It has been an absolute pleasure to be with you this evening. Well, it's an honor, Diane Cumberless, we'd always to work with you and look forward to it again. Yes, yes. And I want to then again thank Jim Morrell for allowing us to have his radio personality be with us. I guess, we're, I guess we say goodbye? We do. Yep. Till next year, thank you, everyone, and thank you for your support.